Hi, welcome to the Directorate of Examinations and Assessments, National Open University of Nigeria. In this short video, I am going to take you through the online application process for on-demand virtual examination. Before you start this application, ensure you have valid mobile number and valid email address. Then proceed to the following URL dea.nou.edu.ng. Once you launch the URL, the following screen will be presented to you. From the list of the menus, you can read about the policy on on-demand virtual examination. You can also watch the instruction video that you are watching right now. After you are absolutely ready, then click on this link from the list of the menus. Apply for exam on demand now. Once you click on the link, the application form is going to be presented to you. It has different section. The first section about your details. I use John Doe as example for this tutorial. Student name John Doe. Their mobile number. Of course, the mobile number is Nigerian mobile number. It always starts with plus two three four eight zero nine eight seven six five six seven eight. Then enter the matriculation number. The matriculation number is a search menu. Once you search NOU zero 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 zero. You can see the name John Doe before I even completed the matric number in full. The name has popped up. Then click on it. Ensure the name is correct. Then enter your valid email address. For example, Mr. John N O U N 2020 at gmail.com. Then enter your program. For example, computer science. Once I start typing computer science, the program is going to be popped up for me. Then I will select it. Then enter your study center. For example, Otan Aibaju. Then I will select the study center. Then I will select from the radio button the venue of the examination. Either I'm taking it at home or I'm taking it in the office or in other place. For example, company. Once I fill this detail, I will then click on next page to go to the next phase of the application, which is the courses that I am intending to seed for the virtual exam. For example, GST. Once I start typing the course code, the course is going to be popped up for me. Then I will select the course, for example, GST 101. You can see, I will just click on it. If I want to add one more course, I will click on Add button that is right here. Then, for example, CIT 20. So once I start typing, then it will pop out for me. Then I will select it. Then if I want to add one more, I will click on Add button. For example, CIT 208. Once I start typing it, it will pop up for me and I will select it. Once I enter all the courses I want to see it for the exam, then I will click on next page. It will now take me to the next phase of the application, which is undertaken by the student. I should read this undertaking carefully. And if I agreed with what is written in the undertaking, then I will click on this checkbox, which is I agreed. Once I click on it, then it will present me the digital signature where I will sign the agreement. As I sign, then I will choose the date, today's date. Immediately after that, then I will click on Submit On Demand Application. Once I click on that, then a congratulatory message is going to be displayed for me which is showing I have successfully submitted my application form. Then 
If I am sure I have supplied a valid email address, I have already logged in into the email address. As I come here, I will see a new email address from the directorate of exam sent to me with the detail that I have filled in the on-demand exam application, including my signature and date. Once I am done with that, I am done with it, I will be checking my email address regularly for any update regarding the date I am going to see it for the on-demand exam. Thank you for watching. Goodbye.